Hello chess friends, how are you? Welcome to our Alpha Zero vs Stockfish Game 5, you are gonna observe the true masterpiece chess game of Alpha and me, Alpha is up 27 LO ratings than me, but I am Stockfish, god of chess universe, so, I started the game with knight f3, knight f6 and Alpha wants to play d5 c5, so I played c4 to grab the square, d6, now his plan is changed, he wants to push his pawn like this, d4 knight d7 knight c3 e5 e4 bishop e7, and I put my bishop on d3 on this diagonal. So after castle I could play queen d2 or h3 but I like to play castle first, here alpha could play a6 to protect the square from the knight's entry to rule over these pawns, after rook e8 I played h3, taking the pawn on d4 isn't good because after knight takes d4 it may burn your kingside and create some problems, so alpha played c6, so I get a chance to play d5, knight c5 to target the bishop. The light square bishop is more important than the knight to attack on kingside and protect the center pawns, that's why I move back my bishop and you know what, what is the best move here for black? The best move isn't a6 or h6, 200 elo may choose king h8, you wouldn't believe that the best move is to play knight retreats on d7, to get a better square to create some gameplay, there will be opportunity for the knight to go f4 square to pressuring white, and the knight on c5 have no work on there, a single piece can't make tactics, I developed my bishop on e3, knight f8, I played before and this creates a skim to rush with the queenside pawns, we have knight g6 a4 pawn takes d5, c takes d5 and the knight is willing to go on b5 to create a threat to the pawn, alpha 0 played h6, rook c1, knight goes to f4 as I told you, alpha's strategy is to play g5 king h8, then rook g8 to use the half open g file, queen d7 then knight sacrifice on g2 square because the h3 pawn will be unguarded and the position will be dead lost, to solve the problem I played knight b5, starting attacks on queen side, if you try to protect the pawn with a6, let me show you the variation, a6 move will create weaknesses on b5 square, the b5 square will be unguarded when knight can re-rotate himself to use that square, hold the position with a5, it will bring troubles on left side of the board and your pieces will be passive and restricted, if you play a5 yourself then b5 move is also there, so back to the position we have bishop d7 to kick out the knight, knight takes a7, g5 by alpha because he is a stockfish subscriber, g4 is a possible threat to open up the position for the rook, I played b5, here if you play king h8 to bring the rook on g8 square, let me show you the variation, king h8, then I will sacrifice my knight on c6, after takes takes I will get 3 connected past pawns, and after some moves later we will play bishop b3, to target the bishop, queen takes b3, this queen and rook neutralizing these pawns, we have g4 takes 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 knight takes pawn and where is attack? c7 queen here b7. Rook escapes queen b5 knight f6 takes takes c8 queen and that's it, white will get a totally winning position, so back to the position, we have g4 to target the knight and the pawn, pawn takes bishop takes, I played b6 knight h7 to go g5 to put pressure to the knight, so I sacrificed the knight on c6, alpha accepts the knight, pawn takes c6 will lead slow improvements on queen side, at that time knight will come to bring storm to my structure, that's why I played b7 first to target the rook. Alpha completely ignored it and played knight g5, now if you dare to take the rook, then after queen takes queen, the position will be equal, two moves later we will push the e pawn, by sacrificing the pawn we will a new passed pawn on d6, bishop backs, and the position is totally equal, rook takes e5, rook takes d7 queen for e2, bishop takes and we will sacrifice the rook on g5, to get the bishop, and this position is completely drawable, pawn progress can't possible and black can hold the position. I have to win the game, so back to the position, I played bishop takes f4, d takes c6 is coming to pressure black with the pawns, we have bishop takes f3, pawn takes f3 knight h4 check king h1, the rook is under attack and if you try to save the rook for example, rook b8 then white will play bishop takes h6, f4 then queen g4 check is coming to destroy you, so you have to play bishop f8 then rook g1 check will come, knight takes takes here bishop g5 to create extra move. 
f6 by black, queen h2 check king backs takes takes c7, queen can't take the pawn on c7 because of a discover check to the king and queen, so after queen e7 pawn takes takes bishop b3 check here bishop d5 and that's it, white seizes many diagonal and files to destroy black, position will be very bad for black so back to the position, alpha played knight takes f4 rook g1 check bishop blocks, pawn takes rook queen takes, takes queen takes c6 bishop d3 queen back to d7, queen h3 checkmate is coming. And chess friends if you want to be smart like us, then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel where you will get brilliant videos from my channel, I played rook g4 to block it and bishop b5 is coming now, so queen e7, bishop back to f1 and I have a passed pawn, h3 rook backs king h7 rook c6 rook here queen c2 bishop h4 rook g1 queen e6 rook here rook d6 rook c8 and rook g8 is coming to threat you some checks and I have a passed pawn by the way, so rook a7 king g2 queen f6 bishop h3. Bishop f5 check and rook g8 is possible threat, that's why black takes the bishop king takes king takes knight, and here if you play any other move expect best move, for example queen f4 then I will sacrifice my rook on h8, after king takes rook queen check king h7 queen check here and queen h8 check will be mate, game will be over so here alpha 0 sacrificed his rook on a4, Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.